Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Asana to Outlook in 2024. So today we're exploring how to seamlessly integrate Asana, which is your trusted projects management tool with Outlook, which is the popular email and calendar platform. Of course, not the most popular one, but it's popular. So stick around as I guide you through the steps to connect Asana to Outlook in 2024. And let's streamline your workflow and enhance the productivity across your tasks and emails. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section and make sure to type Asana dot com and hit the enter button this should take you into the home screen or main screen if it's your first time you'll be taken to a page like this so if you have an account click on get started to log in into your account if you don't have an account click on get started uh, sorry if you have an account click on login if you don't click on get started to create an account and or even get started in here if you are interested about the pricing here's it you can pause the video and read this all by your own i'll just show you all the features and this is for business and enterprises also so other than that, if you don't know nothing about Asana, you can simply scroll down in here in their home screen to understand more about it or just to general, generally like understand uh, or have a general idea about it. As you can see, you can connect over 300 integration. Asana connects with enterprise tools your organization already use right out of the box. You can see all integrations or as you can see from the images in here, we have the Outlook picture. So we'll be able to connect it. So if you click on see all integrations, you'll be able to see a large amount of integrations that you can check, as you can see. So as I said, just keep scrolling to read more pages about it. Once you're logged into your account or just created your account, you will find yourself on a place like this. So the first thing that you want to do is simply go and install the Outlook integration. And how can we do it? So simply just go and open a new tab now and type sana.com slash apps you need to search for it in here and yeah you'll be taken in here so you'll have to look for the outlook app if you don't want to look through all of that as you can see they have no search option simply just type control f on your pc and type like outlook so outlook and they'll show you everything that comes with Outlook. So this is an example, Cosmo Time, Productivity, Finance, and HR. Time Tracker integrates with Google or Outlook calendars to schedule, complete your Asana tasks, plus few special powers. So as an example, let me just go. They have, of course, four things that comes with Outlook, even this one, which is the most Outlook one. <laughs> and yeah, last one, this is creates Asana task conversations from within Microsoft's Outlook. So what we want to connect with is this one. Simply just go and click on it. And as you can see in here, so churn emails into trackable, actionable work with Asana for Outlook. So Asana plus Outlook. As you can see, ways to use Asana for Outlook, you'll be able to turn emails into tasks. As action items come in via email, like review and work from your agency or requests for a design assets from a partner, you can now create the tasks for them in Asana right from Outlook. You can then assign a new task to yourself or a teammate, set a due date and add it to a project so it's connected to other relevant work. To turn the email into a task, simply click Create Task in the Outlook toolbar. toolbar. As you can see, they'll show you everything in here. You'll be able, as you can see, once you create a task from Outlook, you can uh, use Asana rules to automatically trigger actions to your task. Learn more about it in here if you want to learn more about this example. You'll be able to see a lot of information in here. You can check it all by your own. And you'll be able a, also to add emails to existing tasks. Your entire stream probably isn't copied on every email chain that includes information that you need to do their job. But without these details and context, context they can't effectively do their works. Now you can add the email to an existing Asana task as a comment right from Outlook by clicking Related Tasks in the Outlook to toolbar, top bar, searching for the tasks you would like to add the email to and then click on attach message. How to set up the Asana for Outlook, of course, integration. You'll have to Microsoft, uh, you'll have to do this as an example, go to Microsoft Marketplace and click on get it now, follow the instructions and do more. But what we need to do, simply go and click on install, install Asana for Outlook. And as you can see, so 
the steps right here. We don't have to go to Microsoft Marketplace. They'll take you right away. If you click on Sell Asana for Outlook, they'll take you right here. And you'll have to click on Guess Now. As you can see, additional purchase might be required. So keep that in mind. As you can see, again, you'll be able to read the overview in here. Uh, the written reviews and even details and support so you can see what people saying about us and even details plus support so sign in into your accounts first of all uh, of course if you are not and then click on guess now so here is an example i guess i have an account with something like this outlook okay so outlook.com and okay not this one h outlook com and hits the sign in option and yeah now as you can see we'll have to wait a bit confirm your details to continue and your sign in so we'll have to enter some informations okay country in the region choose united states click on get now so let's just wait for this until it's finished. It should not take a lot of time. Yeah, of course, you'll have to sign in at your account. Outlook.com. Next, I don't know if I remember the email. I wish they'll log me over to my account right away. Yeah, it seems like they log me right into it. So as you can see, I sign up Outlook, click on add. And as you can see, it's added. It's connected. You can simply just now add pinned emails for example or you can end pin it whenever you want so you'll be able to see as an example you'll find this right here if you want to add it as you can see it's added if you click if you click on get started they'll show you just the same thing that's pinned in there you can see some additional informations if you want to so now i guess if you refresh you just go here apps more apps Okay, so so basically here this should show you like the description and you can see more example additional information that you may want to know and yeah once it's added and it's connected he of course they did not ask you to log into asana because you already logged into another page and yeah you already like now done so just click on back of course you can go and install another app or add-in and yeah you're good to go now you can start using it so there you have it you successfully learned how to connect Sasana to Outlook in 2024, empowering you to seamlessly manage your tasks and projects across both platforms. So if you have a question or this specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and goodbye.